welcome back. So it is September and you know what that means, summer is over. But this is Labor Day weekend, so we've got one last chance to get together and have a cookout, barbecue and hang out with our friends before we have to start hibernating. So I want to show you this pulled, this barbecue pulled pork recipe that I got from my friend Lindsay. Lindsay, luckily, does not have to worry about summer coming to an end because she lives in Daytona Beach and it is always summer there. So we love Lindsay, but we are very jealous of her. So this pulled pork is really, really easy. And I know everything I make, I tell you guys, is really, really easy. But when you're a VIP, you have to make things that are really, really easy that make people think you spent all day cooking. You remember that Rice Krispie Treat commercial from the early 90s where mom's hanging out in the kitchen and she's got this plate of Rice Krispie Treats in front of her. Her family's patiently waiting for dessert. She's just drinking coffee and having some me time and then she covers herself in flour, messes up her hair and takes out this tray of Rice Krispie Treats to her very appreciative family who thinks she spent hours making them. That's, that's me. So, what we need, we need an onion. We need a can of Dr. Pepper. I don't have a can of Dr. Pepper. I have a two liter. And just in case you don't know, 12 ounces is a cup and a half. So we're gonna use a cup and a half of Dr. Pepper. Um, some brown sugar, the pork obviously, and some seasonings. And we're gonna add one thing that Lindsay doesn't and that is this mutt sauce. This is the sweet and spicy mutt sauce. This is made locally here in Dayton. Um, this girl has her grandfather's recipe for this delicious sauce and she started bottling it and selling it and if you haven't tried it, you have to. It is so good. And we will put a link to buy mutt sauce in the description for this video. So the first thing we wanna do is cut our onion here very carefully because we don't have a very sharp knife. If anybody's watching this and they wanna send me a very sharp knife, that would be great. I would be so appreciative. Cut it, peel it here. You can use a white onion, a yellow onion, a red onion. Use whatever color onion you have. I just have a white onion. It's a very strong onion too. Flip this to the side here. <laughs> that looks good. And we're just gonna slice this into half moon shapes. Doesn't have to be even. I do get a little nervous when I'm chopping. Alright, I'm gonna lay these onions in the bottom of our crock pot here. We're gonna use this sweet and spicy mutt sauce just so it, that, that flavor steams up with the Dr. Pepper and the onions into the meat and it gets that really good flavor. A layer of onion there. Oh, I got some more onion that I missed. This is great too for your barbecue if you are having it at your house or you're taking it somewhere. This doesn't take up any room on the grill. You just take your crock pot with you and plug it in. You're good to go. Okay. We're going to put in our Cup and a half of Dr. Pepper. I went and, oh my. You're not there with us. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Maybe. <laughs> Whew. There you go. Ooh, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper and onions actually smells pretty good together. Does it? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. 
Um, so I went to the store to buy all the things that I needed to make this pork and I couldn't find the recipe where Lindsay had texted it to me and I messaged her and I said, hey, how much apple juice do you put in this pork? I can't find it. Because I bought apple juice. And she said, I don't use apple juice, I use Dr. Pepper. So then I had to go out and buy Dr. Pepper because I don't know why it was in my head that it was apple juice. We're just gonna, I mean, if you get a little more than a cup, of half, a cup and a half in there, I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. And some of our sweet and spicy mezzos. We've had a few flavors of this. We've had the the original is the best. The sweet and spicy is really good, and I believe she still has a ghost pepper. Mm. Those things smell really good together. All right, so we want to put a rub on our pork before we put it in. Now, when Lindsay gave me the recipe, she said she used paprika and cayenne and, and things like that along with the brown sugar. I do not have paprika and cayenne. What I do have is this Weber's New Orleans Cajun seasoning. This stuff is really, really good. It's got the it's got the cayenne, the paprika, it's got salt, it's got all the seasonings that you need for a barbecue. So we're gonna put a bunch of that in there. Mix it in with the brown sugar. Brown sugar is going to give it a really nice sweet flavor. And then I'm going to use cumin. I love cumin. If you don't know what it is, it is the main ingredient in taco seasoning. When you smell it, you will automatically think tacos. And I don't know about you, but tacos are amazing. So get that all mixed up. We are going to take this and we are just going to cover our pork in this rub. We got this pork shoulder. I cut this giant chunk off of the pork shoulder that we have and had. And we still have like two thirds of it left. This thing is huge. This whole thing would not have ever fit in my tiny crock pot here. Which we got at Goodwill for 10 bucks, by the way. Score. And I did not trim the fat off of this because as this cooks and that fat melts and gets down in with the onions and the Dr. Pepper, and it's just really going to help tenderize this pork and make it easy to shred when it's done. So we are going to take this. We are going to put this in our crock pot, wash your hands. Still using my coconut mango soap here because it's so yummy. All right, and put the lid on it. We are going to set this crock pot for six hours on high. You can do it for eight hours on low, but I'm really anxious for this, so we want to cook it faster. And we have this simple crock pot. It's just got two buttons on it. It's totally blind girl friendly. And I'm just going to hit the button twice, and we're good to go. So we will see you in six hours when it is time to shred this and add the sauce. So it's been six hours and we are ready to take this out and see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna pull the pot out of here. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. 
next we're gonna take I'm gonna use forks I don't know the best way to shred meat I have heard that you can use your mixer and let that run through there and that will will shred it I don't know this is kind of hard to do when you can't really see you don't know if you're getting it good and shredded so y'all tell me if it's if it looks good or not I bet I bet if we taste it this tastes really good oh it's so hot this tastes really good without if you don't even put any barbecue sauce in it mmm that's really good it's really hot so you put whatever barbecue sauce you want whatever your favorite is I like sweet baby rays Paul likes bullseye but my stepson goes through barbecue sauce like it's water so we buy it by the half gallon at GFS and this is actually really good so we're gonna put some of that in there however much you want to add whatever your personal preference is I got some on my finger give that a stir I don't know if you don't like yours super juicy like this you could have taken the pieces of pork out and shredded them and added the barbecue sauce but I think this just gives it more flavor so we're gonna move it back in here because this is why we do it in the crock pot so it stays warm for our barbecue put it back in there Some sesame seed buns, these are really good. And I've lost my tongs. So this here. Made on our bun. I hope this looks as good as I think it does. Then you have to have coleslaw with cold barbecue. I like to have my coleslaw on top of it on the sandwich. So you put your coleslaw on top of there. And then put some french fried onions on top of that because french fried onions are delicious and it'll make it a little crunchy. That's it. So, we're going to try it. It's gonna be really hot, I know it is. But it's really good. So this didn't take, I mean it took six hours, but the prep time and the put together time was like nothing. So you can make this for your barbecue. You can put this in the crock pot before you leave for work in the morning, come home, and you've got something really yummy. Try this out and then come back and leave us a comment. Let us know how you liked it. Thank Lindsay for the recipe because we're very polite. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash blindgirlcooks, Instagram at blindgirlcooks, and at www.blindgirlcooks.com. You notice a theme there. Um, check out the link to the mutt sauce. So I'm going to eat this, and I will see you later. Blang Girl, out.